Meat Boy is back because today we are making some garlic steak bites. Just really nice, simple marinade that will make any meat hater into a meat lover. This is going to be great for kids, great for picky eaters. Really, really delicious, guys. Let's show you the ingredients. So we're using some very classic ingredients that go well with red meat. Thyme, garlic, onion, coconut aminos, uh, which is a substitute for soy sauce and you know, soy sauce goes very well with red meat. And Frankie's steak seasoning, which has onion, garlic, some mushroom, salt, and pepper. So it's kind of reinforcing those seasoned flavors. And we're just gonna saute the onion, garlic, and a little bit of oil with the thyme. Just caramelize it, bring out those flavors, and then we'll put it on the meat. Some good looking ribeyes from Frankie's Syringe Meat. I guess this shows you the variance in the ribeyes, you know. Maybe half of them are like this. Some of them have more marbling. And then this isn't really a good example. Once in a while, we'll have a leaner ribeye. And, and this is what I personally eat now because I'm on a lower fat diet for my liver. But uh, a lot of them, most of them look like this for the most part. But you just want any steak that's relatively tender. The more important thing is that it's sliced pretty thick. So we can cut some nice chunks that aren't just going to overcook really fast on the grill. You know, we can still have them nice and rare on the inside. So I'll put the steak aside for now. Everything aside for now besides the onion and garlic. So I only need a few cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna smash them. Probably shouldn't be smashing garlic with your nice Japanese knife. You know, grab a, a meat mallet or something. I'm just gonna peel the garlic and put it right in the pan. Maybe a quarter of an onion. I like onions like separately on the side and in vegetables and maybe caramelized to go with the steak, but sometimes onion can be really overpowering on the steak itself. So we took half an onion, we peeled the thick outer layer off, and we're just gonna make a few easy slices across. So that garlic and onion went straight into the pan. We're gonna turn our gas on, put a few tablespoons of oil in here, much more than you would use to saute because you know, we want this oil to marinate the steak really well. This uh, liquid coconut oil we have on frankiesarangefoods.com, as well as any cooking fat you would basically ever want. You know, we have beef tallow, pork lard, lamb tallow, we even just got in some ghee, some uh, clarified grass-fed butter, and then we have raw butter on the Frankie Strange meat website. So while the pan is heating up to saute the onion and garlic, I just took my thyme and I'm peeling the leaves off the sprig. I mean, we could just put the sprigs in there, saute it and marinate it, and then uh, take them out before we grill it, but either way, you're gonna get plenty of thyme flavor. I've had enough peeling time for one day, so I'll save the rest for some recipe. So we're not really trying to caramelize these. As soon as the onions and garlic get a little bit of color and become aromatic, uh, that's good. So now we're going to take a little bit of Frankie steak seasoning, maybe a tablespoon. I could really smell that, uh, that mushroom in there. Just warming that seasoning up to, to aromatize everything, just like everything else. Then we'll kill the heat. We're just gonna put this in a non-plastic container. I have a hotel pan here. You can use a glass or metal bowl. Now the coconut aminos is in the fridge. It's nice and cold, so it's gonna cool this marinade off so we don't really have to wait at all. I did about equal parts oil to equal parts coconut aminos. Now normally what you do is, you know, you'd get that going on the stove, let it saute a little bit, and in the meantime, you can cut the steaks. You know, since I'm filming this and a little distracted, I can't really multitask as easily. I like patting my steaks with a, a dry kitchen towel just to get that moisture off the outside. So, you know, the seasoning and everything else will stick better. These are just kitchen towels. I have these on my Amazon shop in the kitchen section. And I run them through my washing machine and dryer like every week. That has well water with like non-toxic detergent. So it's basically the cleanest way to dry things and clean things. Now this is one of those things where, you know, are you cooking for yourself and you don't really care or are you trying to prepare a really nice dinner? That's going to dictate, you know, how nice your knife skills are going to be. So you know, normally if I take a piece like this, you know, I could cut like a few chunks out of here. You know, just three is fine, but from an actual like restaurant presentation perspective, this is not going to look nearly as nice as like some squared off pieces of steak. So, you know, we have that, we square that off, put that on the side and we have, you know, basically perfect cubes. You know, you could 
have some perfect cubes, and then split the marinade in half. So you have two batches, one that look really presentable and nice, and one batch that you can have to yourself, or, you know, that's not as nice. You know, if you want to take pictures or whatever, or serve them to someone special. So we got some nice sized beef chunks. We're going to put these in our marinade. I'm going to chop this into tartare. Like obviously, you know, you could, you could cut these into steak bites as well if you want to, or, you know, you can saute them for lunch, grind them up into burger meat. Uh, as I said, I'm going to make tartare with this, chop it up small because, you know, I'm not going to eat steak bites for four days straight. So this, we're just going to cover it and put it in the fridge overnight. You know, I would marinate this for at least four, five, six hours to really get those flavors in there. Overnight is even better. Uh, two days maximum. You guys want to see the inside of my bachelor fridge? Nothing too exciting. All right, it has been 24 hours. So our steak bites have really darkened in color, soaking up that marinade. I flipped them over uh, this morning about halfway through the marination. We're going to head over to the air fryer. So I have this outside in this little kind of sunroom area because this does give off a lot of smoke. You know, you don't really want to use the air fryer inside. Also, high level of magnetic field, so you don't really want to stand next to it while it's working. Uh, but we have to preheat this at 400 for five minutes. So 400 degrees, which is the max, five minutes. Ah! <laughs> I'm melting and I'm breaking stuff. All right, so as soon as this is preheated, we can put the steak bites in. All right, so we preheated for about five minutes. We're going to take the chunks of beef and just put them in the air fryer. I actually wanted to do this on skewers on the grill, but uh, I don't have uh, propane tanks yet, so maybe we'll do some more grill recipes in the next few weeks. You know, sometimes with the grill, the coconut aminos burn very easily. You know, They instantly get black when you put them on high heat, so maybe the grill wasn't meant to be. This marinade smells delicious. So now we're gonna put this back in. The meat's really cold out of the fridge, we're going to do five minutes at 400, see how they turn out. If they're a little overdone, you guys know to go a little less. All right, moment of truth. Look good. Are they cooked, though? Or are they overcooked? Are they well done? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to start probing steak bites with an instant read thermometer in front of a, uh, an air fryer. Oh, wow. Lucky guess, huh? That's basically perfect, medium rare. Yeah, these are, these are really good. Could not have turned out better. Could not have turned out better. The air fryer is perfect for this because the type of heat that it gives off, it like perfectly caramelized with the coconut aminos in there. So larger chunks of meat like this, cold, straight out of the fridge is five minutes. Very, very good. Very good. I'm going to uh, put these down so I can enjoy them with dinner instead of scarfing down the whole plate. Yeah, those are really, really, really delicious. And I'm sure you can put any variation of spicing and seasonings on there. As long as you have a balance of, you know, some sweet, some salty, you got some umami in there, you know, whatever herbs or stuff you choose. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, maybe we'll do an updated steak tartare recipe. Uh, I still didn't try it yet. I'm messing around a little bit uh, with those meat scraps we had. But thank you guys for joining me. You can get all of the high quality products we used in this recipe on frankiesrangemeat.com as well as frankiesrangefoods.com. And as you guys continue to support us, uh, we really do enjoy providing the highest quality products. A lot of really new and interesting stuff on Frankie's Range Meat this week as well as Frankie's Range Foods. So of course, guys, Check out franktestofano.com for all the unique and creative business ideas. As usual, best price online. That's why I'm broke living in a shack. But uh, that'll be it for today. If you guys have any other recipe ideas or anything you'd like to see, let me know. Probably going to do a pancake recipe next week. Oh, most importantly, live stream today, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday, which is going to be four and a half hours after this video is posted. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.